Peace chills out, Florida, and you spy and tell you something. They're telling you that you'll not, they will not be alone. You never have been alone. Your family, forefathers, your hereditary obligations demands your faith and yourself be brought back into the light. You had the strength to perform in January, and you've been lazy. A whole new lazy to balance that productivity. From your journals, finances, ambitions, friends, skills, dreams, experience, and loneliness, tell me that's so much more than a physical force. That we're changing, returning to an uphill. That we see the pain of relaxing and smoking way too much. These next weeks sailing will define the course of the next year. You will see how different you are. Discover more reason to make everyone jealous. Your deeds will be heard. Sooner pain will be felt by the millions. Our actions will reverberate through time and our legacy will be forged by the chaos of the mundane. For the 10 viewers that actually listen to it, that's a passage out of my journal for the night. My subjective journal, which for the first time in a long fucking time, I finally got around to unloading my thoughts in a free environment. Today, up for 6.15, biked 10K to get to work today because we weren't at our normal spot. We were parked somewhere else. Or, we are training somewhere else. And we are doing damage control organization team training today. All day. So, we showed up at, we started for 8 a.m. on the dot. Actually, 8.05. We got yelled at by the big boss because we were all seated down for 8.05. We had two big briefs. I don't know why I can hear the static fucking kickback or whatever. On this fucking microphone. Fucking annoying. Anyways, um, two big briefs by the big bosses and then tours of the trainers till 10 a.m. And then we're going through attack hose procedures and techniques. Oh, that bad neck. And then we're doing wood shoring settings. So, like, if there's a hatch that, you know, there's a potential of it opening from an ingress of water and there's a massive back pressure building up in the space below it. Um, we put a bunch of wood shoring like four by fours on top of it and we build a specific type of structure for whether it's like a hatch that's l on the deck or a door that's you know can open up um, or a hatch that opens up like I don't know there's there's a couple different specific types of shoring um, constructions that we need to know how to do and how to create um, and pipe leaks or repairing pipe leaks. There's a bunch of different techniques that we use. Sometimes we use specific type as a clamp. Sometimes we use like, you know, soup cans cut in half with a gasket, like a rubber gasket inside, and then some bandit claps around it. It's pretty well standard um, shipwright repairs for leaks and floods. So and then we're and then we're doing a brief for the damage control and engineering rounds persons, and the duties and responsibilities of those right up until lunch. Then we had our lunch, and I sat down beside one of the largest lads in the galley, and my plate of food was just as packed as his. I kind of felt like, damn, I'm eating. And it went down, and I was still moving after, and then I still managed to get hungry at 4 o'clock, so right on time, my stomach's getting back into its, its synchronies, its rhythms. Anyways, um, so we had our first our first run through as a simple, and I was just dressed in my uniform. Didn't get dressed up in any firefighting gear. I was just standing by to help out if they needed it. By the second run through, which went right up until about 220, 215, 14, 1415 or 1420, um, I was dressed up in my firefighting gear and I was one of the boundaries so I was like the compartment over from where the fire was and I was making sure that the fire wasn't spreading into the compartment that I was in so keeping the bulkhead cool right so I absolutely bricked on that one I haven't been posted as a boundary I don't think ever and I barely knew what the duties and responsibilities of a boundary were so today was like a very steep learning curve more of like a memory refresher and and a very immediate application of some hidden memory file from a year and a half ago 
it worked, but yeah, I definitely threw the entire base in the shitter for it because of it. So, anyways, um, and then the third run was after Stand Easy, so about two forty-five, I think we started, and I was actually suited up in my flash gear. Actually, what happened was, so they started the damage control event, and they had a pipe burst. And it was the fire main, and the fire main has a lot of pressure. So they said, so they said, um, so we were basically like, okay, you know, have a good day, everybody. And that's loud, sort of like a, within the next three minutes, there's gonna be a damage control event that occurs, right? And within like two minutes, we hear like a rumbling, and then the water just starts fucking pissing out the door right at us because the pipe break was like right inside the bulkhead, right beside where we all were standing. And I'm standing there, and all I see is this this whole, this whole stream just come right at me. I'm like, yep, super pressurized water. There's a lot, like, fills up really, really fast. It's crazy. Um, it's enough for, for literally fire trucks or, like, fire hoses capability. Um, oh, there's almond. Anywho, so, anyways, I was, there was the pipe break. There was another fire and there was casualties all in the same scenario so for the fire i was suited up and i was out there responding with the team i was the third man back on the hose and we were we were basically responding to a fire in the switchboard that was for that was a whole hour long scenario right up until about 3 45 um, then we had a debriefing and then I was done for about four o'clock and then I had an 8k bike ride back so a half an hour bike ride back got back at like 425 straight to supper because I was starving um, so that was from and then about 530 I got back from supper and then I sat my ass in my bed and I scrolled Instagram reels because Alma inspired me to not go to sleep because even though I wanted to take a nap I couldn't because I knew I wasn't going to be able to sleep tonight and he convinced me that it was a bad idea so I just sat there and scrolled Instagram reels I didn't watch a movie I just scrolled Instagram reels until 7 o'clock and then after that I'm like I don't want to go do any physical activity so I didn't um, but what I did do is wrote that subjective journal entry which I'm very very happy that I did because I got a plan now moving into next week which is fantastic because I've been in I'm still getting out of my haze. It's ridiculous, actually. Um, and there's also a friendship that is mm, pissing me off because sometimes people will say so much and then when the time is that, you know what, maybe you need them. Maybe you need some help. Maybe you need some of their time and their attention. And they won't. And they're not there. And that's something that... I don't need them as a result of that. And it's very much changed my opinion. And... Um, maybe the time will come where I reconnect with them. But as of right now, they piss me off. And I am... It's, it's almost more efficient to use it as a source of fuel than as a absorption of energy towards trying to gain their attention or try to mend what hole there is or what gap or what distance has accumulated there. If that makes sense to anyone watching. Anyways, so, and then I was chatting with my friend and then I was building a training plan and doing a journaling until about 9.45, it's 9.48. Journal log, meditate, hopefully in bed by 15 past 10. 10 15. 2215. Yeah. Alright. One of. Okay. Two rows is happy I biked to the thing. I could have got a ride, but I ended up biking the 16K all, all said and done. It wasn't that long of a bike ride. It did suck at fucking 7 15 a.m., but whatever. And I'm happy that the third run through went pretty good. One thorn, 
I'm bothered by being paranoid as hell and antisocial from smoking. So I guess I'm coming out of my little, you know, hole. But I'm still paranoid as hell and antisocial. So it's like, that's, it's just, I can still feel my mood's not there. It's not quite there yet. Uh, one but I'm looking forward to sailing and employing my time planners. One memory. My older brother driving, um, he just got his G2 license. And he grabbed the family car, and we drove up the road, and we went to Timmy's, and then we went to McDonald's, and then we went to Walmart. It wasn't all at the same time. Um, but yeah, that was one of my favorite memories with him. Fitness, two hours. Career, eight hours. Living, four hours. Growth, two. Rest and recovery, zero. Sleeping, eight. Um, I asked my friends today. Well people that I work with I don't know I wouldn't like I'm not close enough to consider them friends yet because like they don't really know me that well like they don't actually know me at least the fucking nuts side of me um and I asked them what Omegle is and they said it's just a chat where you can like just meet a bunch of random people and talk to random people and apparently there's dudes jerking off there all the time on their cameras and I'm like I'm, I'm not going I'm not going on that that's fucking weird cool some creatures out there apparently but anyways um i don't know omegle doesn't have a really good reputation among the people that i associate myself with so maybe like there's i don't know anyways i'm gonna leave that one there um definitely not a area of interest but moving forward i think that these next, I thought it was going to be six weeks, probably going to be about seven, seven and a half weeks of sailing, will bring either a very, very productive fitness and career progression regime, training regime, or a very, uh, what's it called, unpredictable um, emotional stress load I'm gonna leave that as is but yeah so depending on how well I prepare myself for these sales determines on if it's gonna be a really good experience or really shitty experience I hope that but we'll see where it goes <sighs> other than that what else do I want to touch base on? I finally started listening to like podcasts again. And I'm actually starting to like remember some of the shit and get more ideas on progressing into mine. But at the same time, I don't know why I just can't fucking get that episode 15 fucking edited, posted, and published. I'm just fucking lacking on that. It's pissing me off. I fucking keep been putting it off since March 25th. It's been fucking three weeks. You know how absurd that is? It's ridiculous. Um, pros and cons, though, right? So some things you can be happy about, some things not so much. Is it weird to refer to your, like, as you're talking in the perspective in your journals to refer to it as we? Is that weird? As, a, as opposed to you or I? I don't know. Kind of sound like Smeagol. Discuss that tomorrow. Anyways, thanks for tuning in if you are. If you aren't, then you're fucking missing out. And we'll see what happens. Because I don't want to just... I'm probably going to keep posting these JOLOs, but I want to start looking into more enhanced editing software. Which I have. But revisiting so to speak. Anywho, toodles.